I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome back to STL TV Live. Movember is a month-long event encouraging men to grow out their facial hair in the name of men's health. Here to tell us more about the importance of this global event now in its 10th year are Dr. Stephen Benz and Dr. Ted Mimlitz, co-founders of the Men's Medical Institute. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. So happy November. This is the month to raise awareness about men's health, the importance sure. of staying on top of your health and men's health issues. So tell me a little bit more about why this is so important. Well, men's health is something that's really neglected. Uh, men tend to go to see the physicians, go to their doctors, really only when they have something go wrong with them. And what we're trying to encourage men is to go see their doctors more often. Go see them for regular checkups. Go see them when there's nothing wrong with you. And at that time, you can find underlying diseases that are asymptomatic. Your doctors can find them earlier before they do a whole lot of damage. And really, it's something that, that can help the man <clears throat> in the long term keep his health good, keep it up in, 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 a, in a great fashion, and be, it'll be really good for men to do that. So. so before we move into what specifically Men's Medical Institute focuses on, tell me just in general, when we talk about men not staying on top of their health as much, what are some of the things that they might be facing in terms of illnesses as they get, as they get older? That's a good question, Sarah. And you know, if you think about it, women are so much more proactive about seeking medical care. And like Ted mentions, it's to be preemptive about it. Take care of it before you, you um, have a problem. The life expectancy of men is five years less than women. And one of the big factors of that is that men aren't taking care of themselves. Um, some of the classic ones, hypertension, it's so undiagnosed. And why is it undiagnosed? Because people just aren't taking care of themselves. They're not going and, and seeing it. Um, heart disease, the same thing. You're just neglecting it until the big one hits. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Um, prostate cancer. Men are 23% more likely to get diagnosed with prostate cancer than women are with breast cancer. Clearly, breast cancer is a hot topic, and everyone's aware of how serious that issue is. Well, prostate cancer somehow gets neglected, or not neglected, but certainly not emphasized enough. Things like um, uh, colon screening. Mm -hmm. Every guy, every person over the age of 50 should have a colonoscopy. Most guys neglect that. Mm -hmm. No, I know when we talk about that, even with my husband sometimes, it's like, I don't think before we got married, he went to the doctor sure. for something. Why do you think that is in the medical community? I mean, both of you are obviously doctors, but as men too, why do you, why do you think the focus sometimes seems to go more breast cancer, ovarian ca cancer for women's health, especially as they have children? Sure. I think it starts off for women at a young age. They, they have been going to see their OB, OBGYN every year. They mm -hmm. call it an annual, and there's certain things that they... Uh, undergo as far as testing every year and they get in a good habit. Men, they're just not of that mentality. Men, they think they can take care of themselves and they t typically go to the physician or go to their doctor's office when there's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, they've missed a lot of other things they, they could have treated uh, if they had gotten to those a lot, a lot earlier. And so. so then that leads us to the Men's Medical Institute. So tell me the story behind, behind why you created a practice to specifically focus on men. That's a really interesting question. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, and so I see a lot of my older patients that have hip fractures or, or uh, knee or hip replacements that really had a hard time rehabilitating themselves because they had so much muscle mass that was just gone through mm. age. So I thought about how, does, um, how can I build that up, and I thought what happens if I give them testosterone? Well, I could do that, but by the time they get that old, it would take too long for it to happen, uh, to the beneficial aspects of it to occur. So the key is, when I looked at it, was to start these guys early on. Now, Ted got to it by, he's taking care of a lot of women's hormonal needs, and their partners would come and say, hey, what about me? So he's looking at it from that aspect of it. We operated at the same surgery center. One day, we just got together, and we, the topic sort of came up. And, and we realized we were sort of both at the same location, just got there sort of different angles. And so we thought these, these guys' needs are not being met. Mm -hmm. So naturally we thought, well, let's figure out how we can do that. Well, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, this isn't just any, this isn't just men's health in general. There's something specific that you focus on and we're going to learn more about that. So we're gonna have more with Dr. Benz and Dr. Memlitz when we come back. So please stay tuned for more STL TV Live.